And you don't have to get ready if you stay ready. And fitness is not just about looking good and impressing people. You know what fitness is about being better capable and ready for when God calls on you in life, when God calls on you and it's your time. Because I believe that you were created for a purpose and a healthy body and a healthy mind. It's not about looks. It's about performance. So that when God calls on you, you're healthy and you're capable of withstanding levels of stress. And maybe that it's a status symbol and people will look to you differently when they see he's got his shit in order. So that when God calls on you, you can effectively, more effectively handle his purpose in your life. You don't have to get ready if you stay ready, but a more capable mind in handling stress. Don't praise God on Sunday and wake up on Monday like it's an accident or that all God's blessings are your right. Some of this you've got to work for and you don't got to get ready if you stay ready. It's important to know it's not about looking good. It's not about uh, impressing people or any of that, you know, worldly stuff. You know what it's most important is that you just like that soldier training and training and training just, oh, now's the time to, to go into war. You know, I'm that just crazy training. I'm just that crazy guy building a boat. And people are like, why are you building a boat? All this time, long time goes by. You're just building a boat. I'm just building this boat. And when it's time to say, God's like, hey, you're the only one that's been willing to build this boat this whole time. And I know it's been a long time coming and I have called on you. But you, but you stayed faithful and you kept building that boat. Now you're the only one capable because I, call, I, I, I designed you for this, Nick. You've been building that boat. You know, it's been so long. You know Noah, Noah's Ark, right? People thought it was crazy. People thought it was crazy. And then, he ain't, no, ain't a ton of people building boats out there. Not, that, not like that. And, uh, you know, a long time goes by. Damn, this guy's crazy, but he stayed faithful. He kept doing it, kept building this boat. Kept building this boat. And then it's your time. You're on deck because you don't know when it's your time. But when you get called on, you don't have to get ready when you stay ready. And you can't just build a boat in an instant. But then waters come in an instant. And God says, you're on. You're on deck. Are you capable for the challenge? Are you up? Are you up for God's purpose in your life? Because it's not just a whole lifespan of purpose. It might be one moment. That is the epitome of why God kept waking you up through all your sin, Nick. Through all your sin uh, and negligence and worthlessness. There's a reason I'm waking you up every morning. They call it a second chance, but why do they keep calling it a second chance when it's like chance number 10,000? Because I got a purpose for you. And you've messed up more times than I just. You don't deserve to wake up again. <clears throat> you don't deserve to wake up again. But I've got a purpose in your life. Yeah, and I believe that. I believe that. I got a purpose. I believe you got a purpose. And I think every day you want to be sharpening that sword. Because there's some day you're going to get called into battle. There's going to come a day you get called into battle and you better have been training this whole time, looking crazy, just going through the reps, just training, just training, whatever it is, this body, the mind, I don't know what it is, but I want to get ready now and stay ready. So that when it's my time to go into battle, I don't have to get ready because I've been staying ready. I hope you can understand this.